Coming to you live from deep within the military exclusion zone, in the mighty Cthulian Space Center, from our purpose-built Grade A Surround IMX 360 Ultra HD Digital Full Color High Fidelity Megapixel Studio, Kerbal by the most scholarly, knowledgeable, wise and resourceful technicians that dearly that can train, this is Cthul State News. Welcome citizen, this is Clathu State News, all glories to leader. I am Donnery Kerman, and this is today's headlines. Despite months of conflict, not a single Clathulian life has been lost, due to Dear Leader's superior tactics. Dear Leader sends a mission of peace and cooperation to the moon. Universally renowned Clathulian Kitten Ballet visits Duna to help with local disaster. For many years our dear leader has allowed the dissonant rebels Arxi Tape and Agon Arch to survive in the desert wastes to the west. Now, they have called for negotiations to end the conflict. With more on this, war correspondent and national hero Tamti Kerman. It is an auspicious day here just outside Black Crank Safety Perimeter. As dear leader, in his infinite wisdom, has arranged for both the Moon and Nimbus to have blessed us with a daytime appearance. I'm joined by Billman Kerman, famed weapons expert, waiting to see the takeoff of our newest diplomatic mission to the rebel forces of Agonar Chan Tape. The diplomat will be flying in luxury aboard the latest ambassadorial heli tank, the Rockwist. This quad rotor heli tank carries enough fuel to make it halfway around the world. It is well defended for vertical chain guns and sidewinder missiles. And if, leader forbid, aggression is ever needed from such a craft, it carries the stopping powers of twin forward facing howitzer cannons. And there they go! Flying west beyond the Great Cthulian Desert to negotiate with the leaders of the Rebel T Alliance. It is anticipated there is enough fuel in the drop tanks to get rid of the craft all the way across the desert. So the health diplomats may attempt to bring these wayward souls back within the protection of dear leader. Glories to leader. Glories. Thanks, Tamti. I really hope these rebel leaders choose to cooperate. Everything would be so much better if we all just followed leader's great plan. In more light-hearted news, a small team of Moon experts landed on the Moon today to begin fun-time super cooperation drilling on the Moon. With more on that is Furman Kerman. A mission of peace and cooperation between species got underway today as Dear Leader's glorious vessel, Celebration and Peace, leapt from the launch pad. Powered by our infamous stellar drive that we at KSTV announced two years ago, famous for making it to the sun and back in eight hours, making Sunland, our sun-based theme park, possible. If you would like tickets to Funland, you can of course only get them during the winter time when daytime temperatures are more bearable. Regrettably, a small technical issue whilst leaving the atmosphere led to the early detachment of the Celebration and Pieces defensive love impactor. Fortunately, after assessing the damage, Captain Kamal saw no threat to the craft and continued on to low Cthulian orbit. We break from this report to bring you an unrelated matter. Well-known scientist and government weapons expert Billman Kerman was found guilty of treason today, attempting to smuggle state secrets to the Nazi terrorists that twit Johnny E. banished to the desert. In penance for his crime, dear glorious leader sentenced Billman to assist in the testing of our newest most glorious military laser system. We now return you to the fun time and exploration moon mission. After arriving at the Munular orbit, Captain Kamal made several high precision maneuvers diving between hostile orbits to collect stranded Clothulanaut Dottie Kerman. Dottie, of course, bravely stranded herself in orbit to allow several starving orphans to use her space on a vessel returning to Cthu. The orphans had originally travelled to the moon on a scholarship program to enjoy a rendition of Goose Waddy, as performed by the Cthulian State Kitten Ballet a performance that will go down in history for the interruption by AI terrorists. They stormed the stage, proclaiming that geese are unsuitable protagonists for a story involving a dry creek bed, then opened fire, killing several thousand innocent thespians before finally taking their own lives. Critics say their performance was mediocre at best and lacked real passion. Landings are a treacherous time for any craft and its crew, but with super beings like Ira and Boreen Kerman at the helm, Leader's great and glorious plan was carried out 
to the letter, bringing the behemoth of the vessel safely to its wheels. Simulations, which dear leader had graciously downloaded from his brain to our video screens, had previously shown the entry to the crater to be a difficult descent. But once again, the Cthulian crew and technology performed in synergy exactly as leader predicted, allowing for a slow and safe descent along an 80 degree incline, arriving at Moon Crater Base Apollo for a grueling schedule of afternoon drinks and space golf with the Penguinaut Ambassadors. As with all well-planned missions, this one is not just about reaching out to our penguin friends in a political gesture designed to show our superiority. This is also a scientific mission, as the Cthulian Geological Society wishes to know more about the Munular interior. So this mission includes two super safe and totally not armed seismic survey pods. Designed by the very best and brightest of their leader's students, the pods will send shockwaves through the very rock it sits upon, using the science of sound waves to probe beyond the surface, so that we, as a society, may have the sight possessed by their leader to see through solid rock and no all. Furman Kerman, Cthulhu State TV. The science that is achievable with cross-species interaction is amazing. Now Tempty Kerman has a follow-on report for the diplomatic mission to T. Tempty, what's the situation there, as you see it? After many grueling hours of flying, the delegates are finally approaching the Kerbal Space Center, an obvious imitation of our Cthulian Space Center. We're going to take you now to a large... Oh, quick! Someone takes the camera angle! They're coming under fire! We're not entirely certain what has started this aggression, but the delegates were approaching the facility, and at 10 kilometers, a fighter jet targeted the Ambassador of Rockwitz and began firing up its engines. But their leader had planned for this. In a full dog fight, a jet will almost always shoot down the helicopter due to its advanced maneuverability and speed. So we need to attack while the jet is weak and vulnerable, while it's slow and close to the ground, and with missed tails. Of course, that leader needs to consider our prospector, and he has a plan! The runway runs from north to south and takes us quite to plane on the northern end. If we were to attack from the east, as would be natural after arriving from the desert, our missiles would be attacking at right angles to the jet's acceleration, resulting in our missiles missing. But if we were to fly from the south, the missile will be coming in the direction it is accelerating, giving it almost no time to manoeuvre out of the way. After a preliminary sweep of the buildings, the ambassadorial team could find no evidence that the rebel leaders or any of their representatives were ever at this base. Indeed, the only sign of life was the lone gun turret which was quickly dispatched with cannon fire. The ambassadorial team then did the job they came here to do, reassuring the local populace that the cowards of tea could never win this war and appointing a local official to act as their leader's dignitary during this painful, transitionary period. Time to Kerman, dear leader's beloved, KSTV News. The universally famous Clathulian Kitten Ballet Troupe was received with rousing applause last night on Duna. At the largest such event in over 6,000 years, the performance was to bring awareness of their leader to the poor inhabitants of that wretched planet. Old Temtic when, excuse me, I am being told Temtic has more on the ambassadorial mission, Temtic. We were tracking the ambassadors flying over the Dermal Lake region when radar identified an automata targeting the Aroquist. Deadly sight one the missiles were fired, and to begin with, the aim was true. But the superior airstrike countermeasures developed by leader, after contemplating the slump, confused the primitive targeting system, causing the missiles to veer wildly off course and impact the terrain. This did not nullify the threat, and sheets of bullets soon descended on the heli tank, forcing it to the ground. Pinned as it was, the Iroquois had to crawl along the floor like a cunning chameleon until it could see its prey and strike with the might of 1,000 tongues. A direct hint, followed by a swift dissemination of the local populace, and then our debonair diplomats flew home to a wonderful banquet and debriefing ball with their leader. Glories to Lita. Glories. A new child's playground has been constructed deep within the military exclusion zone. The purpose of this structure is unclear as no one is allowed to go there, but we are assured it is for the benefit and development of local young Kerbals. Rejoice citizens, you have been enlightened to the ways of the world. We have pulled back the dark veil of ignorance with the shining example, that is, Leaders' teachings. Do not forget, this Thursday is Fluids Day. You have already received your appointment time. You cannot be late as the representatives will come to your door and see everyone personally. 
Stay tuned for tonight's big movie, The Spy Who Stole Jewel, a dear leader true story. Good night and all glory to dear leader.